Here's what's new in Fusion 360 manufacturing in this update. Let's march right in. First up is a noteworthy quality of life improvement to the tool library. The list of presets in a tool can now be reordered to your preference or even automatically sorted. This is really nice when dealing with long list of presets or if you just care about being organized. Next, we have a couple of new features for the machining extension. Previously available as preview features, toolpath trimming and move entry position are now ready to take your toolpaths to the next level of customization and productivity. Use toolpath trimming to remove areas of a toolpath that are not needed, whether it be for saving time in a 2D contour or fine tuning boundaries in steep and shallow. Move entry position relocates the lead in and out positions of toolpaths with closed contours. Use this feature to hide entry exit marks on the part or specify the optimal location for the tool to start and end to minimize motion. While we're on the topic of the machining extension, we've rebalanced some functionality contained in the machining extension to promote clarity. Because 3 plus 1 and 3 plus 2 milling are available to all Fusion 360 subscribers, we've moved the interactive tool orientation controls into the core Fusion 360 subscription. This makes Fusion 360 a robust and reliable 3 plus 2 programming solution for all subscribers. Additionally, the machining extension will inherit the multi axis toolpaths Swarf multi-axis contour, and multi-axis flow. Offering these toolpaths with rotary and steep and shallow make the machining extension a powerful package for all of your four and five axis programming needs. 2D wrap toolpaths, however, will continue to be available in the core Fusion 360 subscription. One more feature coming out of preview is advanced arrange, available in the nesting and fabrication extension. Use advanced arrange to create multi-sheet arrangements and utilize grain direction to rotate parts in a sheet of material. Have you been wondering how to try preview features before they graduate to full feature status? If so, you'll find a list of features to try in the preview features section of your preferences. Turn on a checkbox to try something new and don't forget to provide feedback so we can make the best tools for you. Thanks for watching this update for what's new in March, 2022. Don't forget to check the blog post to see what else is new in Fusion 360. See you in the next update.